next person coming to the stage, very funny guy, he's playing clubs and colleges all over town. Give it up to my friend, Hennessy Williams! <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are beautiful. I'm here. I'm happy. Only black person in the room. Well, here we go. Look. One, two. All right. If the revolution comes, it's the three of us. That's it. Oh, I'm so happy to be here in my skinny clothes. Uh, for those who may not be familiar, your skinny clothes is that outfit in the back of your closet where you say, you know what, 15 more pounds. I'm putting that motherfucker on. That's what this is. Right here. Yeah. I'm almost 104 pounds, no bullshit. 104 pounds. It's funny, when you lose that kind of weight, a lot of people start asking you questions. They want to know, you know, like, what happened, man? Like, how did you do it? And I had to be honest with them, all right? I went vegetarian for a while, and I wasn't a good vegetarian at all. I would still go to Popeyes and shit. <laughs> I'd just get the biscuits and macaroni and cheese. And, and then judge my friends for getting chicken. I'm like, you niggas are getting chicken, y'all finna die. <laughs> that was the best. I'm fucking, I loved it, man. In the heyday of my fatness, I was, I would go to Burger King and have it my way every time. <laughs> I was not one of these sad sacks. I would create these fast food meals that shouldn't exist. You know, when you get like a burger from Wendy's, but then fries from McDonald's. Yeah. And then you get a shake from Chick-fil-A. See, here's the thing about me. I would drive home excited as a motherfucker. I'd be like, ooh. When I get to the crib, I'm gonna eat this with no shirt on. I know it. That's boss moves to me. It's fucking, now I gotta eat healthy. I don't like it. I got a voice in my head judging me on the things I eat. A little old white lady lives in my head. Why are you eating pizza? at 1.45 at night. Like, why don't you mind your fucking business? <laughs> and the other thing that happens though is a lot of times people start seeing the progress and they want to know your goals. That's when my friends were always, oh man, you fucking doing it, bro. What's your goals though? I know you got goals. You want abs? Mm, no, I don't care <laughs> about abs. Okay, okay. That line, you want that usher line? You want to lose enough Ready for that usher line? I don't give a fuck about lines. I just want to lose enough weight so that when I brush my teeth, my titties don't shake. Uh, the confidence I would have. Hey babe, come watch me brush my teeth in the bathroom, it's crazy. Yeah man, it's been good to me though. The weight loss has been good, it's given me a lot of confidence. I fuck better now, that's cool. Yeah! Yeah! Because at the peak of my fatness, it was a lot of uh, concern for me. It was a lot of just this right here. This is about the most motion and movement I would do because you can't just die on top of somebody. Because there's not enough blood for my dick and my heart. You understand? I had to make a business decision when I fucked. It was one of those things. I was like, all right, well, let me lose some weight. Maybe that'll help. But now I'm scared to fuck like real hard. Like in front of a mirror, that's the scariest thing in the world to fuck in front of a mirror for me. Cause I'm scared I'm gonna pump one time too hard and my titty do one of these. <laughs> Listen, when your titty do one of these, you fuck up the whole night. That girl might look at it and go, oh hell no, no, I gotta go. Oh shit. So now I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with confidence and shit and I'm running around. I'm trying to exercise, I don't like that shit. I don't, I feel bad. Every time I see a pretty lady, I look at her, I'm like, oh, she's so tired. <laughs> she's so tired. I asked my friend what I should do for the workout ideas, and he said, just work out your lower body. I said, that sounds dangerous. So I did it. But here's the thing, all right, we all understand what it means to be sore. But there's something about first time gym membership sore Oh, when you just wake up and you're like, oh no, the devil's in the house. <laughs> what happened? I started getting into stretching, I started doing yoga. My friend told me I wasn't doing yoga right. Apparently you're not supposed to just go on YouTube and watch videos. <laughs> and masturbate, that's not yoga. <laughs> Got it in my set, but I'll tell you this, because my set's been filthy and that's just how I get down. Uh, I like eating pussy, pussy's cool. Yeah! <laughs> 
That's an appropriate, that's an appropriate question. Yes. But listen, here's the thing, fellas, I know you understand this. You ever like ace pussy and you was just on your knees and then the AC is just blowing? Facts. The AC is just blowing in your ass and you're like, man, it's kind of cold. But you know it's not really sexy to grab a blanket and put it over you and eat pussy because your girl might fuck around and pull that blanket all the way over and be like, ooh, perfect, yes. And now you eat, you eat pussy under that hot ass tent. You ever eat pussy under that hot motherfucking tent? And her legs just squeezing around your neck. You're like, hurry up and come, motherfucker. It's the hottest fucking here. Are you gonna come soon? My jaw is starting to hurt. My legs are locking up. The AC is blowing in my ass. What the fuck is going on? I need to go home. My wife is waiting for me. Hurry up and come, motherfucker. Thank y'all very, very much, man. That's my time. And it's just, you know,